For this show in particular, I think it's been hard because a lot of us don't, at the beginning, a lot of us just didn't understand what was going on. And it's really hard to bond on stage, especially when you just don't know what's happening. But I think this past week, like starting over the weekend, when people really actually like could step in and like realize what they're doing and what the intention behind everything is, you start bonding on stage and then immediately start bonding off stage too. We're doing Shakespeare. And a lot of the times people didn't necessarily understand what they were saying. So we'd go backstage and look at our lines and someone would be like, come here, come here. And I'd look over their shoulder and they'd be like, what does this line mean? And I'd be like, I have absolutely no clue. So we kind of bond over being clueless. At first I thought like, oh, Shakespeare, it's gonna be like bland and dry. But then like when I actually read through the script, I was like, oh wow, like this, Billy Shakes really knows how to write a comedy piece. Like he's, he's actually pretty genius in his writing. So I, the script I think is probably the best part. And also my castmates, the whole entire like theater crew is amazing. We have these funny moments on stage where we'll like kind of like smile and like we won't laugh but it'll get to the point where we get really close to laughing on stage and it's just a great time. I definitely feel like from day one I didn't really understand the play even though I watched a lot of movies that were like revolving around it but like I definitely feel like I got to understand my character better make her more spunky and bratty and like that was fun and just like getting to know her better and I feel like she definitely evolved in the fact that like from day one she wasn't really that bratty sassy girl that she needed to be. Yeah, I feel like every single time like I come on stage as Bianca, she changes just a little bit and like becomes more Bianca. Yeah. And so just every single time I have like, you know, there's one little new thing that you do and it's just kind of fun it, like making the character evolve. The thing about tech is that you don't need to come from any background. You don't need to come with any prior experience to get into it. And if, you, if it's not for you, it's not for you. That, but it has aspects. It has for the artsy people, for the sciencey people, for the design people. It has aspects for every single person. So if, if it's something that you think you'd be interested in, try it because you never know if you might like it. And overall, it can change your life depending on how you look at it. It may be like a diamond in the rough for you. We trust each other's judgment, mm -hmm. I think is the biggest thing and we're all great at collaborating. You have to be have to. a collaborator. People who don't struggle they, yep. because you can't just think your opinion is the only opinion that exists and is the best and you need to hear other voices because their perspective is as valid as your own, honestly. And if you listen, you'll learn something mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. I try to get to know my castmates as best as I can, just because, not even because they're my castmates, just because I think they're amazing people. Yeah. Like, they're all really unique and fun and genuinely sweet people, and I definitely have felt a connection with all of them on Tech Crew or in the cast or my directors even. Like, they're just all amazing people, and I would love to get to know them more, even though I already know them a plenty. Yeah, we just spend so much time around each other, and you just... I mean, sometimes like you, you meet a new person, you're like, oh, you're cool. And then like a month later, you've spent so much time with them. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you just, you feel like you know them really well. And you're just like, I mean, everybody's just so awesome. So yeah, I agree. What, what I always like to say, if you can't do something, just put like a yet after it. So like you can't do it yet. Everything, you can do anything with practice. I mean, this production is an example of that. Like at the beginning, like we couldn't put on like Taming of the Shrew. We didn't know our lines. We didn't know anything. But now with practice, we are able to put on a full production. I just feel like there's so much to learn. Like it's, it's just an experience. Like you go in one person and then you come out and it's, whoa, you're a new person. You've learned so much. You've learned things about yourself. You've learned things about other people. And, and there's just so much. There's an entire world that you didn't know. You, you're gonna grow. You're gonna get smarter. You're gonna get more uh, uh, collaborative. You're gonna become. You're gonna learn a process that you didn't know. And I think uh, only in a few places in a school building is the the process uh, directly equatable to a job. I think the biggest thing to someone who's interested and is afraid to is don't be. Don't be at all mm -mm. and you will never stop needing these skills mm -hmm. we just had a student interview as a senior for college and they just wanted to talk about his theater experience it's really? not what he's going into yeah. yeah he said he spent most of the interview yeah, that's good talking because about they know mm -hmm. because they know that you're creating something out of nothing and you have to do it with other people and i would say too all three of us we'll take you where you're at 
wherever you're at, we'll take you. Because all you got to do is come in and work hard every day. And you know that. And and uh, we're, we're, we'll teach you. But we'll you provide gotta you work, the skills. But you got to work. <laughs> you know. Half the battle is mm-hmm. just showing up, mm-hmm. show up, and it's a hands-on thing. You mm-hmm. will get your hands dirty and learn while doing. <laughs>